Yo, imagine recording this video already, but the camera was like pointed to the moon. And then you can see. I think I just had that moment. So now I gotta start all over. Good shit. All right, what's up? I'm tired of saying what's up because it sounds corny to me. But my name is MC Mahaney. If you don't know, I make reaction videos, I make gameplays, I make story times, and I make music and etc. Um, lately, I haven't been making gameplays only because Fortnite is officially trash. So I might just have to find another game to play. People been saying Apex. Like, I'm sorry. Like, Apex just looks so ugh. But I'm going to try. Uh -huh. But, yeah, today I'm coming through with a story time about how my neighbor tried to kill my dog. This is a true story. This happened, I think I was in eighth grade. I was either eighth grade or ninth grade. I think it was the summertime. And um, I was probably like 15, 14 years old. So, uh, if y'all know me personally, y'all know I got this best friend. And his name is Jack. And he a black lab. And I love him. He's my best friend. He's been my dog for a while, so I really care about him. But that day, I almost cried over my dog. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get right into it. So this was back when Musically was a thing. Okay, so I'm over here trying to make Musically videos, and this is the third. But before I make it, I take my dog out. And in our yard, we got like like one and a quarter acre, and it's fenced around. So when we take him out, he's fenced in, but he got a lot of um, land to run around or whatever. So I took him out. I think my dad was out there like doing yard cleaning because it was like around the summertime. And I just went back in the house. And I was trying to make musically, you know, back in the musically days. What was some, what was some musically? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even remember a, a musically. A flex, some likes, or some. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, and plus, I do not do TikTok. I refuse to do TikTok. I do not care what you have to say. Anyways, so my friend, like an old childhood friend, like we went to elementary together and she FaceTimed me and we were just like talking on the phone. This is just, and I sit in front of a window. Like when I do musically videos, there was like a place that I specifically did it because it was had like good lighting, but it was right at my window. So the sunlight could hit me. So I'm on FaceTime. This is this. And I just see my dog walking on our drive-thru, like on our driveway. And I was like, why is my dog on the driveway? He's supposed to be in the fence. So I was like, oh my God, my dog's in the driveway. Like, hold on, this is this. So I run out, I'm running out. I go outside, I open the gate. He just runs in, he looking scared, like he ran. I was like, Jack, what's wrong? And then this man, oh my God, the, our neighbor, he comes, he looking like a whole drunk, no cap. He got, he big, he got a white tank top on, but you know what I'm talking about? And he got a bat in his hand. He foaming at the mouth, he red as a tomato, talking about some. Your dog was in my yard. I'm about to kill him. Where he at? Where he at? I was like, I was like, no. I was trying to guard my dog. Like, I don't know what I thought. I'm whole, what, 14, 15 years old trying to guard a dog to a man with a big old baseball bat. Like, <laughs> so I was like, no, don't kill him. Don't kill him. And he was like, no, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Where he at? Uh, so, 
my dad comes out of nowhere like he who skinnied over there like i didn't even see him i like i don't even know where he came from like he literally just came out of nowhere and said get off our yard get off our yard so we own this area okay so he's all private property at this point so he's trespassing he's threatening he's being aggressive it's a lot of things he was doing so he's like i'm gonna call the police this is it I, I put my dog in the house and he just looked so shook and he was a puppy he was a puppy like he was a puppy but he was big though you know lab i think he was like a year and a half old at the time so he still had that like that puppy mentality but he didn't he was big though but he looked so shook and i felt so bad for him like i just was like oh my gosh and then i went back to my room and i was still on facetime i was like girl guess what happened my dog remember when i said he was in the driveway man this dude this neighbor came on our yard threatening to kill our dog this is it. she was like i know i heard i was on facetime I, I had the phone still in my hand i was like oh my gosh you heard that she was like yes what's wrong with him i was like i don't know and then um the police later on come. i see i'm back at the window so i have police on our um driveway and the only thing they did was go over his house like the neighbor's house told him to it's a he gave him a warning told him to don't do that listen if my dad was to do that it would have been a whole different story and we know this and i was just so irritated like i'm like a warning a warning I, even to this day some situations that i bumped into the police i got the most biggest pun like not the biggest pun but some like excessive punishment like racial profiling is so real it's so ugh. but like we don't know this already but i was young so i was like just not seeing it with my own eyes so i was like wow that's so crazy like so what was the point of even calling the police like i don't get it and our another neighbor across the street he works in law and stuff but he loves dogs like he really loves dogs so my dad told him what happened and he was like what so i guess he like called them up again and he said something to them and they came back the police came back apologized to my dad they arrested the man but he was probably only in jail for like a day and we went to court later on. Tell me why he won the case. He was not guilty. I don't understand. I literally don't understand. But you know what? Whatever. Whatever. I was like, I was so... I was literally confusion, like a straight confusion. My dad was confusion. My dog, he was confusion. We was all confusion. And um, I think he might got some anger management classes or something like that. I'm not sure. But ever since then, we have not talked. Like I do not talk to him. And even to this day, oh, my dog, like what? three four years old now and tell me why he's still going under the fence over there I, nothing has happened since like him threatening our dog but i still get anxiety like hella anxiety when my dog is over there because i don't want nothing to happen to him and i just don't understand why he keeps going under the fence when he has a whole one quarter one and a quarter of acre to run around like why are you going on the defense but i still love him though so that's the story of how my crazy neighbor 
tried to kill my dog. So I'm gonna need you to like, subscribe, comment. It only takes a couple seconds out your day. Like you can't donate some of your time to MC my honey. Like what did I do to you? Like could you please help the kid? Like and to be honest, I haven't been posting that much only because I've been unmotivated to post because I'm not getting the response that I want. <clears throat> but I still do YouTube because I like, I find it as a hobby. I don't do it because, oh, I want to be successful. Or, oh, I want clout. No, I just do it because I just find it as a hobby. And I always kind of want to do YouTube. I'm just a little small YouTuber, you feel me? So maybe I'll get up there, hopefully, one day. But. Help the kid out. Share my channel. Put on post notifications. Because I try. If I'm not consistent, I still don't try to, like, take forever, like, a big space of time before I post another video. So, give me some time. And hopefully I can find new games to play. So, whatever. Hit me up. On my social media, my social media is going to be in the description. Tell me what you want to see. How many times do I have to tell y'all? Like, tell me what you want to see. And help the kid out. But other than that, I think that's it. So, I guess I'll catch y'all later. Yo!